And welcome, Gamer Nation. Thank you for joining me as we cut to the chase in Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game. This is part of the 2017 Summer Game Blitz. This game is brought to you by Byro Biro, who picked out a really interesting game. It's still in early access. They've still got a lot of work to do. Um, there's a lot of tutorials. Let me just click over here and show you all. You can see, look at this. There is an endless supply of tutorials and it goes over everything have I watched them no actually I've watched some of them um, I like to pride myself that my dad is a uh, he works for Ford so I picked up some of the, the information and know about a few things from where I was a kid but just looking at some of the Tutorials. I realize that I actually have no idea what I'm doing going into this game. So, on the first couple episodes, it's going to be some trial and error just to showcase the game for you. Um, I want you to see what it's like. Uh, Byro did set up some conditions. Uh, we're going to do a light campaign in the 70s or 80s, so we're going to see what that's like. But pretty much what you're going to see at the start is SKS developing and designing a car based on his little know-how and non- car engineering degree. I'm sure that it's going to be a blast. I'm sure that you all are going to enjoy my failures as I explode engine after engine after engine and probably go belly up. But let's see what we can do here. Let's do campaign. I guess we're going to do a light campaign. There are no saves, so I'll hit new game. Light campaign V2 info. The light campaign is not representative of what the grand campaign will be like. During early access, this serves as a testing ground for new features added to the game. It is lacking many of the core game mechanics planned for Grand Campaign. Okay. Basic R&D, so we're going to do research and development. Engineer familiarity, I have none of that. Improved hub, improved plot, engine sounds, many smaller fixes. Engine 4 port, pretty art. Okay, cool. Oh my god, do I want to go to Gasmia, Arcana, or Funia? Look at the wages. Arcania has lower taxes and the wages are much lower. A fictional middle sized hilly country with continental climate and average width poor quality roads. People have low purchasing power. Oh, that's the average salary. Okay, that makes sense. But taxes and fuel prices are low. Environmental awareness is low and people don't care much for car safety. Hmm. So they had like off-road vehicles, utility, family utility. Uh -oh. City family sport, light sport track, sport super light delivery, and I'm sure this is like, yeah, they want pony and muscle cars. I'm actually debating on, let's do, oh yeah, we need to increase this year. Let's start in 1975, how about that? Oh man, my difficulty is brutal right now. That's not good. Um, we'll have to change some of this. Um, give my company some basic. I guess you don't start from scratch. trying to bring this difficulty down. Give them a little less cash. I don't know what could put car desirability. Oh. Their cars don't need to be desirable. Well, let's see. Who's my team? <clears throat> Drivetrain tires spelled with a Y. That's Interesting. I think it's Australian designers who do this. An expert. Not a lot of experts. Okay, I see somebody who's got like base skills. Let's get John McLaren. Oh, look at him. How about that?
And I guess we'll leave the difficulty at medium. I don't know what any of this other stuff means, but let's hit OK. Alright. So here's our other competitors. And again, this game, there's so much to it. I'm excited to see what it's going to turn into. It's really interesting. Ooh. What do we want to work on? So we're a little bit ahead of everybody. Our latest text. Oh, this is behind. So. Let's put a little bit into that because we want more than 1950s aluminum. I don't even think we have it. We're behind on the chassis too. And body, you always want body. Let's do those two. Body and top end. That's a little bit of engine work and a little bit of that. We don't have anything to sell. And the first thing I really want to do is like a utility sport vehicle. Let's go to it. Let's do a new car. And let's see, hatchback, wagon, SUV. And when I think utility sport, what is the number one utility sport today? Let's do top 10 utility sports. Probably gonna be like a Jeep or something, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, they're like hatchback type things. Autobite says this, the Dodge Durango is the top 10. So these are all exactly what I was thinking, these SUV looking things. So that's going to be our body. Okay, there's my research. See, I don't need game research. I have my own research to do these things. All right, so. But we don't have that many of them. Choosing a base body design is what one is of this? the most important steps in designing a new platform. Okay. This choice will define the overall size of the car and the types of body variants available. The best body to choose depends on the intended use of the car. Yep. For a small and practical city car, you should choose a tall body with the most possible cabin and cargo space, but okay. the smallest possible wheelbase length and track width. This will give a small but spacious car with a high driving position that is easy to park and maneuver in a city environment. For a high performance sports car, aim for a very low... Yeah, we don't need that. To give you much, I mean, uh, we don't have a lot of tech open, so Oops. why is there that little thing there? I don't like that. It seems like extremely awkward. Bring out that baseboard there, like, that's uh, sweet. So that gives them a lot of room. Put that out a little bit. Boom, it's already looking nice. I like that. Do I click on the colors over here? No. No, I already said I don't want that. No, I don't want that. 
looks terrible. Okay. So we're on the base of ours. Lower values, lower weight, lower cost. Let's leave it. Yeah, we got tech on that, so we'll leave it. All right, chassis type. The chassis is underpinning structure of the entire car. We're going to learn together, car, gamers. Consisting of either a separate frame under the body shell, or an integral part of the body itself. Different choices are appropriate depending on the available budget and technology, as well as the intended use of the vehicle. The choice of chassis design and materials will have a major impact on overall weight, manufacturing costs, crash safety, corrosion resistance, as well as chassis stiffness that is all important for good handling. Ladder frame chassis are cheap and rugged and are a particularly good choice for commercial vehicles that need to withstand heavy use. Steel monocoques are a very common choice monocoques. for many passenger cars. All right, well, we're going to put the cheapest thing ever. What do we got? Oh, body safety penalty. Why is there a safety penalty? It's all the same. Oh, extremely high. Hmm. Front longitudinal is the most common layout from the early days of modern car design. Ooh. It places the engine wait, in wait. front of the cabin. Are they making like a Model T here? Car. Is this from how old school we are because of our technology? Rear wheels or all four That's wheels. what I'm thinking. This configuration is particularly oh, common for larger vehicles where rear wheel drive is desired. Given a long enough... Yes, yes, yes. Cool, cool. Well, we can only do one thing. Suspension refers to the system which allows the wheels. Yes, I know what this is. I'm sad that we have to do the old. I might have to go back and change the body. There's the actual Jeep. Okay, let's try this one. I'm still gonna pull all my stuff out though. Make it look awesome. Awesome! I can't do play! It's only a two door though. It's not very family friendly. I think this is what we had. I'm gonna let me put the foot. This is a little different in the back. No, this is a little different. We're going to flatten that out because we don't need that up there. Okay. Okay, so we could change this now. Oh, and it actually gives us the production units extremely high. Engineering time low. We'll do this. So we could change some of this now. Maybe they'll work in a way of like putting their stuff as a little bit more organized. Drivability high. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, we're gonna keep the McPherson strut. Uh sportiness. Drivability, sportiness. Where's cost? Engineering time average. Okay, we're starting to add some stuff to the engine. 
I'm bringing this stuff to the but at a limited production. No mass production. No, we don't want that. We need total mass production ability because if we're gonna make this car and we need to get it out there, I can't be making specialized cars for my first vehicle. That's not gonna fund the company. And if you're wanting to know what I'm talking about, look over here. You can see uh, where it says production units low, but that means we can make them. But if I go down the fiberglass, it says limited production. And if I go down the aluminum, it says no mass production. We obviously want a vehicle that can be mass produced so that we could sell a bunch of them. In the fixtures stage of car design, oh, fixtures. You can add oh, these lights, are cool. Vents, grills, badges, oh, I get to be really creative here. Byro Biro, you picked an amazing Most thing. Most of these are purely cosmetic. This would be something cool to do on stream as well. Ones look the way you want. Oh, it, look, it However, looks so happy. Some have effects on the car's performance. I do love the Vents front of cars because they cool can look really happy, or they can look sad, or they can look drag, as you know, noted sick. by the kilojoule per second value. To provide cooling. Vents and grills need to be near the engine bay. Well the larger the vent, the more cooling provided. The total vent area required will depend on the design of the engine, but it's generally best to have a bit more cooling than required, as vents can always be blocked later. They can also be For broke high performance out. Cars, uh, I know that from uh, personal experiences. Okay, let's do headlights. Um, I'm feeling. Those are humongous. Those look really awkward though, don't they? Yeah, those are like cars. Boom! Oh my god, they'll be able to see everything with those. Locking those in. Alright, tail lights. Oh, that's so cool. I like those. They kind of blend in, but they got the backup light. Oh, that's so awesome. Got them amazing. Indicators. Um. Yeah, we need these, don't we? Now, how do I want to position these so they look? I wish it had a little like degree thing on it so it could tell you what degrees it was because it doesn't look straight. That's about as close as I'm gonna get. Okay, boom. All right, so we have our turn signals. Grills. All right, this one we need something that looks really cool. Upside down. I think it would look a lot cooler that way. And I also wish it had like measurements that told you how far apart from the other things you were. Oh, 
that looks cool. I like that. All right. Let's see. Uh, vents. I don't think I need vents, do I? I don't need these. We get that. Uh, we don't need wings on this. Or do we? I could be like Homer Simpson. Put some wings on here. Oh, yeah! Look at that! No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that, gamers. Handles? Uh, let's... Regular handles for the back. And there we go. Because we had the ones that unlock with the key, which doesn't make sense for that to be on both sides. And then we have the kid locks there. So there we go. There's a bonnet. Is that like a sunroof? Exhaust. Okay, um... Why would I want the exhaust coming out there? Why can't we just have the pipe below, like a normal? That doesn't even make sense. See, why would you want it coming out there? I'll stick it there for now, but I feel like I'm going to change that. What is this? Oh, that's just like kind of red. Okay, never mind. And badges? <clears throat> um... I feel like that... Alright gamers, we've got the basic design of the outside shell done. I think on the next episode, I'm going to work on the internal parts of it. Um, as for what I'm doing right now, I have no clue. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode as we go into automation, brought to you by Biro Biro, part of the 2017 Summer Game Blitz. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Good night gamers.